Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD, and as many of you guys know, USB 3.0 has finally made its way to Max. Now let me start this video by saying this is not me showing off some amazing game-changing feature uh, on why Macs are better. I know it's a long overdue feature, and it's been on PCs for a couple years now, but with USB 3.0 being natively supported by Ivy Bridge, now Mac users can finally take advantage of it. So as of this video, this applies to all 2012 MacBook Pro models, as well as the 2012 MacBook Airs. Now as far as the technical details go, USB 2.0 has a maximum theoretical throughput of 480 megabits a second whereas USB 3.0 jumps all the way up to 5 gigabits a second so it's a huge difference now keep in mind those are theoretical speeds so even though on paper it looks like a huge difference those speeds are also limited by how fast the external hardware is so I want to give you guys a real-world example of how USB 3.0 might actually benefit you and for my first test, I'm using a Western Digital My Passport 1TB USB 3.0 external hard drive. And you guys can see from the disk speed test, we're actually getting some pretty damn good numbers. Nearly 110 megabytes a second for both read and write speeds. Now as far as how that compares to USB 2.0, with this drive being backwards compatible, what I did was I hooked it up to my Thunderbolt display, which only has USB 2.0 ports. And you can see it actually cripples the performance quite a bit. We're getting over 100 megabytes a second. And here we're only getting around 13 megabytes a second for the write speeds. And only 32 megabytes a second for the read speed. So there's actually a huge difference between USB 2.0 and 3.0. Now, in addition to external hard drives, there are also high performance USB 3.0 flash drives. So here is a SanDisk Extreme model, and we're getting even better results with that nearly 200 megabytes a second on the read speeds for this little flash drive, which is pretty insane if you think about it. Now, for those of you guys who are wondering how that speed actually translates into everyday use, what I'm going to do is transfer a movie file, one and a half gigabytes in size, from the external hard drive to the desktop in both USB 2.0 and 3.0 speeds, as well as toss in the SanDisk Extreme, do the same exact thing for a side by side by side comparison. So you guys can see there actually was a pretty big difference as far as USB 3.0 and 2.0 on the external hard drive. The SanDisk was the fastest, but keep in mind it is also the priciest gigabyte per dollar. So for most people looking for a solid, quick, but cheap external hard drive, a lot of storage the western digital my passport is a solid option it's only about 109 bucks for one terabyte of storage so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you are feeling like being awesome make sure to hit that like button it does help the channel out if you guys have not subscribed make sure to do so so you don't miss any more macbook pro coverage i actually got some macbook air coverage coming up as well and again i'll have links to everything i use in this video down below so thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys later